action from Cougar Park. Today's game is hosted by the Cougars. They're facing off against the Norsemen. I'm Dan Stevens, and joining me is my good friend, Peter O'Keefe. Let's take a look at today's All-Pro lineups, Peter. These two stars play an exceptional brand of football. They're the guys who always come up first in conversations about the great ones, and they have good squads as well. On the other side, not to be outdone, we have just as many stars. Those are two of the biggest names in the world of football, Dan. We got a star at the top of his game on defense and a game breaker on offense. Look for them to make some noise. Thanks, Peter. The captains are at midfield for the coin toss. Gentlemen, please make your call. It is heads. The Cougar have won the toss and select a kick. it downfield and we're underway. James catches it back at the 10. <laughs> Stop at the 29. Damon James tried to run it out, but the defense preferred that he stayed put and they made their case pretty forcefully there. The Norsemen will start this drive at their own 29-yard line. Number 52 tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Number 52 didn't get all the way positioned for the interception, but still managed to graze the ball with his fingertips. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Second and 10. Number 17 throws this one right side. Oh. It's caught at the 31, eventually tackled at the 44. Chris Fitzsimmons is wide open on that play. Makes you wonder if the defensive coordinator wants to keep his job or not. Ooh, that guy was rumbling. <laughs> Ooh, ha, he's not exactly fleet of foot, you know, but on that last play, he spun his wheels and really dug in for those extra yards. And when you barrel down the field like a Mack truck, you don't need to be fleet of foot. First down, 10 yards to go. Simpson <laughs> tries to get free, finally stopped at the 34. Mike Simpson was wide open on that play. Makes you wonder if the defensive coordinator wants to keep his job or not. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they remove the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. Number 17 gets all of his arm into this pass, and it's tipped incomplete. Number 40 turned his hips to get into position and tip that ball away. Solid coverage. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second and 10. Ball at the 34 yard line. Number 35 takes his first carry of the game and makes up a couple. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Fourth down coming up. 
Ryan Pago managed to take him down before he got to the markers, but whew, it was close. There's a migraine waiting to happen for a defensive coordinator. He almost gave it up. Yeah, but they didn't let him convert. It's still going to go to fourth down. Fourth and short. Fourth down, and they're going for it. The Norsemen want to talk it over, and they take their first time out. Fourth down and less than a yard. Number one with the 42 yard attempt, and it's no good. It bounced off the upright and then out. Well, sure, Dan, it's a little embarrassing, but isn't that what instant replay is all about? A player screws up, and it's our ratings grabber. The Cougars send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their 32-yard line. Second down from the eye. Second and five from your Cougars, 37 yard. <laughs> Number 82 hauls in the pass and picks up four on the play. Number 12 has got a lot of guts to make a play like that, Dan. Anything cross field is a gamble, period. A decent play, and they'll now face third and short. That's the key, Dan. Make third down easy, and they did just that. Oh. Now they just need third to convert. Down. We'll see oh, what they do. But I'll tell you, it works, and the play works, too, as he surges across the line for a big game. Yeah, it's all about using your blockers, Dan. They clear a path, you use the path. What a run, and he is generating some great numbers. Oh, yeah, he's running hard, and up to now, he's got 32 yards on two carries. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground, and it's incomplete. Eric Farmer had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. He just flat out lost control of the football. Yeah, catching the rock is definitely not his specialty. Second down, hey. two wide outs Second on the ten. field. Number 12, fires this one over the middle, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Number 86, just couldn't have been expecting this. Three defenders on his tail. There had to be someone else open. Risky, but the throw paid off. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. First and 10 from 17 yard line. Nichols tips it away on the coverage, 
incomplete. Leland Nichols came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Second and 10 from 17 yard line. Matthew Sandoval got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. Nice job eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third and long. Third down from the shotgun. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Well, the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Fourth down, and the field goal the unit field is on the field. 18 yard. McDaniel will hold the kick. Kicks it from 35 yards, and they take the lead. Derek Barrow has little trouble pooching this one through. Let's see it again. Yep, he knows that you aren't allowed to miss many of those in this league. Your Cougars. Kicking off, James back for the return. Barrow boots it away. James fields the kickoff at the nine. Down at the 29. Oh, Even James got waylaid by the defense before he was able to put Munch on the run back. The Norsemen had their last drive stall at the tail end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their own 29-yard line. Number 17 goes into the left sideline, and the catch is made for a game of a couple. Second and seven from 31 yard. <laughs> Number 87 catches the left sideline and picks up four on the play. This guy can really twist up the coverage in that short area. That's right, Dan. Those quick routes have been open for him all day. Obviously, that's what the defense wants to give him. convert on third. Great execution, Dan. They did everything right. First right. down, three wideouts in the game. 42 yards. Second and six. Number 
17. Throws a bullet to the back and... This is a great run, Dan. Look at the yards he chews up. Peter, he had a great jump off the line. He was in fifth gear before the defense could even react. Motored for some easy yards. Oh. First and ten from the Cougars, 48 yards. Number one, runs the fastball over the middle and is well past the markers for a first down. Nice pass, Peter, and he's really lighting up the stat sheet. Oh, you got it. So far, he's got 64 yards and no interceptions. First down, one man back. 34 yards. Nails the quarterback on this play behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to cost the offense a few yards. Oh, Dan, that was a great job of getting to the quarterback. Nice sack. The defensive design worked flawlessly, and the refs will spot the ball well behind the original line of scrimmage. What a way to derail a series from the onset. Second and long ahead. Simpson catches him in the flat, and that will be good for a game of eight. Mike Simpson, first away from the defender there, showing incredible athleticism. He's a handful, no doubt about it. Nice gain, and that puts them in a very convertible third down situation. Well, you know, Dan, my last convertible was a 72 Nova. You know, Peter, it's no wonder you were a lineman. Number 17 tosses it down the left side, and it's off, incomplete. Damon James with all thumbs. That one bounced right out of the mix. That will bring up fourth down, and what a disappointment. That would have given them the first. You've got to make those plays when they come your way. Number one, back to the field for the time, 31 yards. Rock will hold the kick. Number one, boots it from 48 yards out, and this one is up and in. Barely. I'm thinking there's not too many kickers in this league who can make that with any consistency. Well, I mean, let me put it this way, Dan. If you have to have someone standing near the goalposts to let you know you made it, that's a long kick. Number one kicks it off. Number 81 takes it at 11. Tackled at the 29. Number 81, a few yards off the run back there. Add that to the somewhat shallow kick, and that's a pretty good job by the special teams. The Cougars came away with three last time out and are looking for more. They'll start this drive at their own 29-yard line. This one will fall incomplete. Demetrius Doris just flailed there. Horrible lapse in concentration. Potential for some nice yards, but it falls incomplete. That will bring up second down. Second down, 10 Second yards 10. to go.
and five. Ball at the 34 yard line. is the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. Yes, excellent anticipation on that incoming missile. Number four lines up to punt after the three and out. Hampton is deep to receive. Number four gets the ball and punts it away. Hampton fields the punt at the 28. Stop the 31. Tom Hampton got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Norsemen will start this drive at their 31 yard line. Past the markers for a first down. First down, Norseman. Oh, if he wasn't accurate on this throw, it would have been an interception. It's a real fine line. What a pass, and he is generating some right. great numbers. Oh, absolutely, Dan. So far, he's got 85 yards and no interceptions. Number 17 passes this one, and it's complete at the 34, and he's stopped right there. Second and eight, ball at the 46 yard line. bring up third down. They move the ball and that'll bring up third down. Third down, tight end to the left. Read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That's his third tackle of the game. And that'll do it for quarter number one, and we're all tied. Law lines up for the punt. Good one. Deep three seed. Gets the snap and punts it away. The Cougars, stalled early last drive, will have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own one-yard line. Brought down, and that will be a safety. Matthew Sandoval comes off the line like a hungry rhino looking for that safety. And he gets it, pinning him in the end zone for two. You can't coach that.
Your Cougars are set for the kickoff. James back for the return. Number four doesn't get a hold of it very well. Hampton balls it in at the 25. Stop at the 43. The return of 17 on the play. Ball will be placed around the 43 yard line. The Norsemen have been locked in a defensive slugfest so far and will start this drive at their 43-yard line. down Norseman fantastic left him with nothing to hang on to and yeah, never saw that coming and barely saw it going he makes his first big run of the game after being held in check in the first quarter you cannot hold him down for long Peter beast of a player I love it first and ten from your Cougars 22 yard line. up about four on the play a pickup of four yards on the play Craig credited with the tackle second down from the eye second and five Number 17 throws this on a rope, and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. Damon James easily overcomes the double coverage to nab the football. Perfect synchronization by the quarterback and the receiver. Way to get open. The short game is working okay for them. It's been methodical, but they are moving the ball. Yeah, they need to strike deep at some point, though, to loosen up that secondary. Brings up second down. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second and nine from Penyard. Number 35 gets the call again and ends up losing about three. Number 93 got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. They force that one backwards, and that's going to make this third down that much harder. Yeah, they also make it easier on themselves by wiping out all of the potential short yardage plays they might face. Third and long. Third down and four wideouts in the game. is the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. Number 52 wouldn't get all the way positioned for the interception but still managed to graze the ball with his fingertips. That's the second time he slapped that ball out of there. Excellent read and reaction skills make him a nightmare to try and get the ball past. Fourth down and the field goal unit is on the field. From 30 yards out and it's good! A clean kick, no worries. Boots it away. Number 81 fields the kickoff at the 11. Tackle that to 30. Number 81 got a few yards off the run back there, and that to the 
a somewhat shallow kick, and that's a pretty good job by the special teams. The Cougars have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive that starts at their own 30-yard line. at the 28. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Second and 12 from your Cougars. 28 yard line. to go, Dan. They would have loved a few more yards out of that play. Third and eight from your Cougars. 32 yards. Oh, let's watch this. Five wide out versus a D that is wisely loaded up on DB. Number 12 throws this one over the middle and it's not reeled in. Incomplete. Number 88 seemed to be the right guy for his quarterback, but he's unable to catch that ball over the middle. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such Go a down. crucial down, Dan. And Your when Cougars you don't convert, it really hurts. Number four Tampa lines up D2 to punt after the three and out. Number four gets the snap and punts it away. Hampton fields the punt at the 27. Back down at the 32. Tom Hampton got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Norsemen will start a drive with the lead for the first time this game will begin at their 32-yard line. <laughs> Number 35 gets the foul on first down and will end up losing a couple. Number 52 got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. That will be his fourth tackle of the contest. Second and 12. From 30 yards. <laughs> Number 52 makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Number 52 anticipated the trajectory of that pass and stuck his hand in at the last moment. Great play. That was the fourth time they've swatted the ball out of the air, and the offense is looking frustrated. The D is showing excellent fundamentals right now. Third down, one man down. Number 17 unloads this to the right sideline, and this one is incomplete. Third drop of the game for him. Peter, and look, the coach looks absolutely frustrated. Oh, yeah, Dan. Mistakes can kill what you're trying to The Norsemen are challenging whether the pass was caught in bounds. Dan, when we check out the replay here, we should be able to see if the catch was made prior to going out of bounds. Oh, there's the catch. He's inbound. I think they'll overturn this one. After review, the pass has been ruled complete. The catch was made prior to going out of bounds. The Norsemen will not be charged with a timeout. First down. First and ten from 24 yards.
number 35. Loses about three, and that will bring up second down. Number 91 got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. Peter, they put an end to that play well in the backfield, and they had a real good read on that. Yeah, it all starts with the guys up front, Dan, and then everybody follows. Second down coming up. Number 87 catches it in the flat and picks up four on the play. He explodes out of the gate with a number of catches. This guy, well, he, he's just a consistently good player, Peter. Absolutely, Dan. Really impressive communication with his quarterback. Third down oh. from the shotgun. Number 17 makes the pass and gets not reeled in. Incomplete. Damon James ran a post pattern on that last play, but he couldn't make the catch. Third and long, they have a chance, but it's incomplete. Those are the situations where you want someone to step up and make a play. But no one did, and it will now be fourth down. Law lines up for the punt. A good one. Deep to receive. Gets the ball and punts it away. Goodwin takes it at the 16. Tackled at the 19. Jeffrey Goodwin got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Cougars, they have taken the field and they've been having a tough time passing the ball. They have another opportunity here as we start at their own 19-yard line. Number 12 throws this to the right sideline and it's tipped. Incomplete. Terry Supernall read that one right out of the receiver's break and denied it. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second down, three Seven wide outs in the game. 19-yard line. Number 31 takes this one way out left and wide left, eventually shoved out at the 39. It will be first down. Yeah, gave up a lot of yards before forcing him out of bounds. They can't pin him down on second and long, and now it's first and ten. Very disappointing execution by this defense. <laughs> Number 31 takes it to his eighth carry and maybe picks up one on the play. Number 31 stopped close to his blockers, but the play folded quicker than an over-caffeinated origami artist. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Number 31 carries it for a third time in a row and heads up field. Finally popped out of bounds at the 38. First down. Gobble up a ton of yards on this play. This is a formidable rushing game, Dan. What a run, man. He is generating some great numbers. Oh, yeah, he's running hard. And up to now, he's got 77 yards on nine carries. First down, 10 yards First to go. Number 12 passes it out left side, and the completion is good for six. 
Number 88 took on three defenders and still came away with the football. Oh, insane. Well, you know, this is just not working. He made a good play on the ball, but for what? This team they're is always play. throwing short. Problem is, they're not picking up any significant yardage after the catch. Exactly. <laughs> Number 88 snags the dart right sideline and gets past the markers for a first down. Number 88 out of bounds and got the first. Nice run. Nice second down call and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether just like that. First and 10. 27 yards. The 32. Number 54 with the tack. Loss of five on the play. Oh, it's all about pursuing your man. You got to stay with him, and he did just that to get the tackle. That's his third tackle of the game. Second and 15 from 32 yards. Number 82, <laughs> the bullet, and that's a game of seven on the play. Peter, no one seems to be able to stop this guy on the left side. They found him a few times over there. Yeah, he's been running sharp routes, but it makes you wonder about the coverage over to that area. Third and eight from 25 yards. It'll be fourth down. On the Peter, with that stop, they have pushed them out of field goal range. Oh, what a big play. Fourth down, and the field goal Peter, unit is 31 on the field. 31 yard. McDaniel will hold the kick. The Norse are looking for some separation before the half and will start this drive at their 39-yard line. Kabir Carson read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Second and 12. Big play coming up. Third down and four wideouts in the game. <laughs> Number 17 throws this one over the middle, and they get the first on third and long. Damon James had a defender close by, but was able to bring down the catch. Right there, he was able to make a good grab and pick up a couple of yards. That's the kind of play that can put a lot of pressure on a defense. They tried to stop him, but just couldn't get it done.
Number 87 reels in the football and is well past the markers for a first down. First down, Norseman. Oh, yeah, nice play. He got what he needed and then headed for the sidelines. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. First down with the tight end right. Number 17 throws a heater right sideline and he's on target for a gain of five. You know, I love what this passing scheme accomplishes game in and game out. We're seeing the steam coming from this offensive engine big time. They're looking hard to stop. Second and five from 14 yard line. Nails the quarterback on this play behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to cost the offense a few yards. Oh, Dan, that was a great job of getting to the quarterback. Nice sack. Peter, he's really gotten after the quarterback in this game. Oh, you can say that again. So far, he's got three tackles and two sacks. Third down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. Throws it to the left sideline, and it's off his fingertips, incomplete. Fourth down coming up. But it just glances off his fingertips. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Fourth down, nine yards to go. Number one picks it from 35 yards and it's good. Jim Brock handles this high snap perfectly. Sets up the ball. There's the kick, and it's good. Three points. The field goal will extend their lead some here in the first half. It's still early, but the momentum is definitely behind them now. To kick off. Number 81, deep to receive. Number one kicks it away. Number 81 fields the kickoff at the 10. Brought down at the 27. Number 81 could have really done some damage off that less than stellar kick, but his run back is only so so. The Cougars comes out and has an opportunity to tie it before the break. They'll start at their own 27-yard line. <laughs> Number 31 will take the hit. Heads out right. Second down, two tight ends in the game. Austin down in the backfield, and the clock will continue to run. Third down, the clock is now at 18. <laughs> Number 31 picks up about two and... And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Norsemen are out in front, 11 to three. Okay, Dan, let's get this halftime show started. What do you have for us? 
now we'll look at our first half by the numbers, and I'll tell you, first downs have really been the story here. The Norsemen should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponents hang in there with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Number 17 connected with his man on this one. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play. The Cougars, still early in the first, number 31 got the call on third down, and he did not disappoint. That set up a 36-yard field goal. Towards the end of the first quarter, the Norsemen losing by three. Number one is going to try to dial one in from very long distance. Plenty of leg to it, though. He's got it. They knotted up three all. The Cougars, now in the second quarter, Sandoval would break through with a big play here as he shot through the line and was able to wrap his man up in the end zone for a safety. The Cougars trailing five to three. Number 35 ran a terrific route here and was able to pull this one in. That set up a 31-yard field goal. Midway through the second, number 31 bounces this one to the outside, and he's got some room to maneuver out there. A 22-yard play that set up a home team field goal, but they couldn't connect. Late into the second quarter, the Norsemen up by five. Number 17 went to the air, trying to convert on third down, and he found his man. And that will do it. The Cougars are down, but still in it, 11 to three. All right, good work, partner. The Cougars will receive to start the second half, and this is a tight contest. Currently, they're down 11 to three. Let's go down to the field. Number one, boots the second half kickoff away. Number 81, fields the second half kickoff at the eighth. Tackle at the 32. Number 81, was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Cougars take the field and will start out at their 32 yard line. has a knack for sticking square pegs through round holes when it comes to completing a tough pass. Dan, I I've seen a lot of short throws, but overall, there's really not Let's much go. to show for it. Good catch, solid throw, but the ball just isn't moving far enough to make a difference. Second down, just a single Second receiver down. on the field. Your Cougars, 44 yard. <laughs> Number 82 makes the catch on the right sideline, oh, and that's a gain of seven on the Number play. Finally, the they look to exploit that right side a little. Great pattern and nice finish on the catch. Way to keep the defense guessing. Third and two. <laughs> Number 31 will get stopped at the line, and that will bring up fourth down. Chris Farrakh brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. The defense's back was against the wall, and they rose to the challenge, Peter. Yeah, Dan, that's great D. They had to make a stand here, and they stood together. It will be fourth down. 
Number four gets ready to punt it away. Number four takes the snap and punts it away. Hampton at the 12. Stop at the 14. Tom Hampton got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Norsemen offense takes the field, and they have a way to go. They'll begin at their own 14-yard line. Number 35 gains five on the play, and that brings up second down. Gain of five on the play. Number 41 credited with the tackle. Second and five from 19 yard line. Number 35. On second down and gains about three yards. Number 17 rifles it out left side and it's tipped incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Number 52 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. I mean, he's just unconscious out there. Oh. And a couple of those batted balls were almost intercepted. Dan, you can't coach that. He has rare instincts and incredible hand-eye coordination. Law lines up to punt after the three and out. Law takes the snap and punts it away. Goodwin fields it at the 41. Walk down at the 45. It looks like we have an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Jeffrey Goodwin will have to come out of the game. It was hard to tell exactly what happened. The Cougars will start this First drive at their 45-yard line. The Cougars, 45-yard line. from the runner because he knew where he was going at all times. What a run, Peter, and his numbers are adding up. Adding up to one big number. Up to now, he's got 92 yards on 15 carries. First and 10 from 41 yards. the play. The Terry Supernaw pushed his man off the field with a great defensive effort back there. They got a few yards, but not the first. Peter, they gave up a bundle and allow a second and short situation. Yep, the offense holds all the cards now. Let second down second and less than a yard. Willard Morris targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his second tackle so far. Third and two from...
Number 82 makes the nice catch, and they convert on third down. A nice play, and with only a short distance to the first, they put it together and make it happen. Yeah, third and short always looks easy, but it's not, Dan. That's good execution. Sandoval dismantled that play by bringing down the quarterback for a loss of yardage. That'll be his first sack of the game. Second down, one man Second back. 12 from 34 yard line. Good for six. Number, 33. Number 12 threw a tackle. perfect pass back there. You know, I had a better shot at it than the defense did, and hey, I'm up here in the booth. He's been on point with the short pass so far, Dan. That Third pattern's down. worked so well, Third we're probably going to see it over and over again. Well, why not, Peter? His receivers are open and making grabs, and nobody has really stopped him from doing it. The 36. It'll be fourth down. Eight yards on the play. Oh, yeah. He went right through the O line and got to his man. Great effort. Peter, they pushed them back, and with every yard, they make it much harder to make the field goal. Absolutely. If you don't believe it, just ask a kicker how big five yards can be. Number four gets the snap and punts it away. Let the punt bounce for a touchdown. Number four, saw his kick go squarely on him for a touchback. <laughs> Tough luck. The Norsemen stalled early last drive. We'll have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own 20-yard line. Second down. Gain of three on the play. Number 52 with the tackle. Second and seven. Ball at the 23 yard line. The catch and now the run. A multi-tiered play. Yeah, like cake with three tiers of frosting. Oh, that sounds good. Does everything have to be turned into food for you? He gets the touchdown, Peter, and that was a very nice play. Definitely. Number one is back for the point after. Brock will hold the kick. Point after, and it's good. Your point is good. Kicks it away. Number 81 fields it way back at the 8th. Back down at the 28. Number 81 tried to run it out, but the defense.
defense preferred that he stayed put, and they made their case pretty forcefully there. The Cougars must feel like they need to score this timeout. This drive will start at their own 28-yard line. Number 31 takes it across the field. Hunt it down at the 43. It will be first down. First down, Cougars. Number 31 sticks close to his blockers here. And it pays off. Nice run, Peter. And he's putting together some very nice stats. Definitely. Up to now, he's got 105 yards on 17 right. carries. First and 10 from the Cougars. 33 yards. was shaken up earlier and we've gotten a report on his condition. What did they say, Peter? After talking with the trainers, our man on the sidelines found out that he's broken his ankle. They said that his condition is pretty severe and that clearly he will not be returning to the Seven game. Ten. Well, oh, we'll hope for the best. Yards. Thanks, Peter. Second down, three wideouts in the game. <laughs> Number 31. <laughs> and second down. Gains about three yards. The pick up of three on the play. Number 25, credited with the tackle. Let's go! Third and seven from your Cougars, 46 yard line. Short of the marker. That will bring up fourth down. He now has five tackles in the game. Number four gets ready to punt it away. Selected to punt. Hampton is deep to receive. Number four gets the snap and punts it away. Let the punt bounce for a touchback. Number four, so his kick goes squirrely on him for a touchback. <laughs> Tough luck. The Norsemen got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at their own 20-yard line. Number 55 got through with ease and brought the quarterback down back there. Good, clean sack. That'll be his first sack of the game. Second and 12. <laughs> Number 17. <laughs> And the completion is good for six. Damon James had two guys on him on that play, but still managed to make the catch. It takes a lot of courage to make your living over the middle, I'll tell you, but we've seen him there several times today. Yeah, that's a guy who's willing to sacrifice his body to make his quarterback look good. but then cuts loose for plenty more. You can't coach that. This guy has earned his team big points today. That's why he's such a key player. Yeah, he knows how to make himself available in that part of the field, scoring his second touchdown of this contest.
number one is back for the point after Brock on the hold. Here's the extra point, and it's good. The extra point is good. Number one sends it downfield. Number 81 fields the kickoff oh. at the 10. Tackled at the 29. Number 81 tried to run it out, but the defense preferred that he stayed put, and they made their case pretty forcefully there. The Cougars, they have taken the field, and they've been having a tough time passing the ball. They have another opportunity here as we start at their own 29-yard line. Number 31 goes down and maybe picks up one on the play. With a carry, gain of one on the play. Nichols credited with the tackle. Second down, tight end to the left. Eight from your Cougars, 30-yard line. Number 82 and manages to hold on after the punishing hit. That was exactly what the offense wanted. Good job not to even let it get to third down. He was still short of the yardage marker when he received that ball, but his legs and determination got him the first. And that Number brings up second down. A pickup of three on the play. Number 45 with the tackle. That's and that'll do it the for the third quarter. quarter. The Norseman in command of this one, 25 to three. Number 31 gets the car again and picks up a couple. Number 31 with the carry. Gain of two yards on the play. Number 45 credited with the tackle. Third down from the shotgun. Third and five. Ball at the 44 yard line. Number 12 gets some air on this pass, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. You know, Peter, if this were volleyball, that would have been the defense's sixth spike of the match. Yeah, the O keeps setting it up, and the D keeps sending it back. Number four hey. lines up for the punt. Are back to punt. Hampton is deep to receive. Number four takes the snap and punts it away. Hampton at the 20. Run down at the 24. Tom Hampton got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Norsemen bring their offense on the field and will start the drive at their own 24-yard line.
Number 35 is at the 35. 45, 35, 25, 15, 5. He's in for the touchdown. Dan, check out all the yards he snarfs up here. Yes, snarfs. That's an old football term. <laughs> Tell you what, though, this is a great play. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have, Dan. So far, he's got 141 yards and one touchdown. Number one is back for the point after. Brock will hold the kick. the point after and it's good the point is good Number one kicks it away. Number 81 catches it back at the nine. Locked <laughs> down at the 35. Number 81, they went down some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Cougars have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive that starts at their 35-yard line. Number 86 grabs the fastball over the middle and gets past the markers for a first down. 13 on the play. First down. Number 86 has three guys surrounding him and still snares it. I don't know if it was a good effort by him or a bad one by the D. Oh, Dan, it's hard to believe that play came off against triple coverage. Well, you know, this is just not working. He made a good play on the ball, but for what? This team is always throwing short. Problem is, they're not picking up any significant yardage after the catch. Exactly. First down, two wideouts on the field. Number 12, fires this one over the middle and completes the 42, eventually tackled at the 21. Number 88, really delivers on this play. Let's take another look first at the catch. There it is, but he's not done. He's going to make his way forward for extra yards. Oh, he's a go-to guy for sure. When is enough enough? I mean, really? He finally corrals that last one, but only after a slew of missed opportunity. Well, I question going to a guy after so many unsuccessful attempts. Yeah. But, but they have faith in him, and it resulted in a completion that time. <laughs> Number 31 takes his 22nd carry of the game and gets in for the score. Up at 20 yards on this play. This is a formidable rushing game, Dan. Well, they get the score, Peter, but it doesn't seem to make much of a dent, does it? Well, not really. If a touchdown counted for 60 instead of six, well, it'd be a different story. But as it is, they are still down large. And it's good. Your Cougars to kick off. James back to receive. Barrow kicks it off. 
James fields the kickoff at the 8. The 29. Damon James was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Norsemen got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at their own 29 yard line. Number 17, like the middle, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. 18 yards on the play. First down, Norseman. I doubt that. He would have smoked you like a salmon. Hmm, uh, that sounds pretty good. It's about time. Three incompletions in a row before they finally connect. Yeah, perseverance can be both First a blessing and, and a curse. They finally got that one to him, but boy, did it take some effort. Fitzsimmons didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Chris Fitzsimmons ran a corner route back there, but unable to make the reception. Potential for a quick first down, but no, they cannot hook up the pass. You can take a shot in that situation, and it's really not going to hurt you. That's a good call. That'll bring up second down. Second, second ten. down, From 10 yards to go. Number 17, this one, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. First down, Norseman. Wow, now that is one confident QB. What a pass, and he is generating some great numbers. Oh, absolutely, Dan. So far, he's got over 390 yards and two touchdowns. Number 35 will get the carry on first down and will gain close to six. They move the ball and it will be second down. Six yards on the play. Number 93 with the tackle. Second and three from 29 yards. Number 17 throws the pass and it's tipped incomplete. Number 40 came in and got a hand on that football. He left no chance for a reception there. That's the second time he slapped that ball out of there. Excellent read and reaction skills make him a nightmare to try and get the ball passed. Third down from the eye. Third and three. Number eight pulls it a lot here, and they convert on third down. He picked up 24 yards on the ball. First down, Norseman. Yeah, he made a good, quick decision to fire the football right in there. And Dan, in his mind, nothing was going to stop him from completing that pass, uh, unless, of course, it was intercepted. How many times can this guy blast him downfield? He has been unstoppable today. Oh, it's like a war zone out there, Dan. The defense is getting bombed right and left. Number 17 zings it to the right side, and it's caught for a touchdown. Oh, maybe they should have triple covered him there. This is a take-no-prisoners kind of guy when he is in the red zone. Oh, after piling up some good yardage on the day, he makes a big play here for Number a score. It's back for the point after. Brock on the hold. Extra point and it's good. Extra point is good.
kicking off. Number 81, back to the seat. Number one, boots it away. Number 81, takes it at the 11. <laughs> Tackled at the 28. Number 81, but it really done some damage off that less than stellar kick, but his run back is only so-so. The Cougars are now on the field, and except for a few big plays, they can't be happy with their passing game. We'll see what they call on this drive as we start at their own 28-yard line. Number 31 at left sideline and gains a couple. Number 31 saw that he was singled out there and did just enough in that pattern to gain separation and haul that one in. You know, I, I haven't the faintest idea, Peter, why they keep throwing underneath. The yards really aren't adding up. Yeah, receivers are doing what they can to catch the ball, but at some point they got to move forward to make it worthwhile. Number 12 fires this one out of the middle. It's complete at the 43. Eventually tackled at the 49. It will be first down. Number 88 had all the time in the world on this play, Danny. He could have made himself a sandwich while he was waiting for the ball. <laughs> Always back to the food, Peter. Can't you think of anything else? Oh, well, let me see. No, I can't. Uh huh. It takes a lot of courage First to make ten. your living oh, over the middle, I'll yards. tell you, but we've seen him there several times today. Yeah, that's a guy who's willing to sacrifice his body to make his quarterback look good. First down, both wideouts to the right. Hauls it in right side, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. 23 on the play. First down, Cougars. Number 12 lays this one in beautifully. Got to see it one more time. Right on the money, Peter. He effectively rendered the defense irrelevant by being so accurate. Yeah, they might as well have been 10 yards away. Again, he uses the middle of the field to advance the football. And uh -huh. Dan, why not? Well, they, they found some seams, some crease right in the middle, and, well, they feel they can take advantage of it at any time. Number 31 takes it for his 23rd carry, and it's taken down near the line and actually loses a bit. Leland Nichols read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. Another tackle, and he's starting to fill up the stat book. He is dominating, Dan. So far, he's got five tackles. Number 82 catches the heater left sideline, and that will be a gain of three yards. He hasn't lost anything here, even into the fourth. That is a well-conditioned athlete. He <laughs> definitely put the crunch on the D with solid numbers in every quarter. What a one-man wrecking crew. Third down and five wide receivers take the field. Number 12, zips it to the left sideline, and it's complete. Short of the markers, however, that will bring up fourth down. That's his second tackle so far. Fourth down, and they're going for it. Ball at the 20-yard line. Number 31 catches it in the flat, and he's short of the markers. They will forfeit the ball on downs. Number 31 goes to the outside to make a play, but he comes up short of the marker. He ran out of bounds too early. Oh, huge mistake. And now they'll turn the ball over on downs. They went for it on fourth down and fell short. Obviously, they felt like they needed a lot more than three. Well, and they still do, Dan. They needed that conversion really badly, and the offense couldn't close the deal. The Norsemen take the field, and can they capitalize on the defensive stop? We'll find out as they start this drive at their own 21-yard line. Number 35 is at the 35. 25, number 35 gains a bunch 
catch on the play, and that brings up first down. Penalty marker down on the play. Let's listen to the call. Neutral zone infraction, number 91. Defense, the penalty is declined. Dan, watch this play unfold. These guys are so talented, it's really just amazing to sit back and watch them take care of business. Oh, and I'll tell you what, he takes care of business throughout this play. Makes me want to hit the gym again and maybe, you know, get back down there on the field. First down, two tight ends First in the game. Ten. Ball at the 42 yard line. <laughs> Number 35 will take the handoff and will end up losing a couple. Chad O'Brien would not be denied and dropped him for a huge loss. Big play. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Third down. Third and four from 37 yards. Number 35 gets the call on third down and takes it upfield. Left down at the 27. There's a penalty marker on the play. Let's listen into the call. Neutral zone infraction, number 91. Defense, the penalty is declined. First down, just a single First receiver on the field. Second and four. <laughs> Collins will get stopped at the line, and that brings up third down. Nick Collins got some help on that one in the form of blocking, but he still couldn't make a play out of it. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. Great. Third and four. Ball at the 22 yard line. Two minute warning. Third down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. The Cougars take their first time out. 
Number 52. Got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. Another tackle, and he's starting to fill up the stat book. He is dominating, Dan. So far, he's got seven tackles. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. 25 yards. Rock on the hold. With the 42-yard attempt, and it's good. He's got plenty of room on either side. Great accuracy there. Well, you could have backed up that one 10 yards or so. He still probably would have made it. That's his fourth field goal of the game, and he has generally looked pretty good. He's doing his part, and that's what you want from a kicker. Number one sends it downfield. Number 81 fields the kickoff at the 11. Oh! the 29. Number 81 made a mediocre fit, a little more mediocre with a decent run back there. The Cougars start this drive of the game from well in their own territory and the clock at 1.49. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Number 12, rifles it out left side, and it's complete at the 23. The Cougars will take a timeout. That's their second. Chris Farrar targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Another good stop by the defense, and that will be two losses in a row. Third down, the clock is stopped at 128. The Cougars take a timeout. That's their final one. Matt Craig just nails the offense with a huge loss. Watch how he targets the quarterback and then crushes him. Oh, he sacks him way back there. Great play. That will be their fifth sack of the day, and they have been simply relentless so far. And they haven't let up all game, and that's what you want, somebody whose motor never stops. Fourth down and a long, long way to go. Balls him down in the backfield and that will force a turnover on down. Six yards on the play. Number 91 is here to play, I tell you. What a stop on fourth down, and it's worth another look. A oh, huge tackle, huge play. Well, they don't convert on fourth down, and that will be it for them. Yeah, chalk this one up in the L column, Dan. It's all over. Takes a knee, and the clock will tick down. Second and goal from six yard line. Takes a knee, and that will do it.
And that will do it for tonight's game. The Norsemen come out on top 42 to 10. With that, let's look back at some of the plays that made the difference in this one. So, the ball game is over. Let's take a quick look back at how it went with our post-game show. We'll pick up the action midway through the third quarter. Number 81 emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. A 77-yard touchdown for the visitors. The Norsemen move ahead by 15. Midway through the third, number 31 would let his big old offensive line pave the way on this one. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play. Towards the end of the third quarter, the Norsemen winning by 15. Number 81 came up with a huge play here as they cover a lot of real estate on this one. They've opened it up and now lead by 22. The Norsemen later in the fourth. Number 35 on the carry here as they work the ground game and this is a nice run. A 76 yard touchdown for the visitors. The Norsemen winning 32 to three. Number 31 is gonna take this one to the outside and once he gets the corner, it's a foot race. A 21 yard touchdown for the home team. The Cougars finally get on the board and are now down by 22. The Norsemen still early in the fourth quarter. The ball at the 30. Number 17 went to work on third down and he was able to find his man. A 24 yard play that set up a visitor's touchdown. Midway through the fourth, the Cougars back by 29. Number 12 connected with his van on this one. The Norsemen still middle of the fourth. Number 35 would find an opening here and he was off. That set up a 43 yard field goal and that will do it. The Norsemen win big 42 to 10. Finally, let's give it up for our 2K Sports player of the game. Number 81 turned in yet another legendary outing. Oh, what a performance, and I have no doubt that this isn't the last time he'll showcase his talent. We'll be hearing much more from this guy as time goes on. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time.